Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders Motorsports, and I'm at Richard Childress Racing out of Welcome, North Carolina. At RCR, fabricators address many challenges just like you do in your shop or home garage. This video highlights some of the accessories and components to help solve some of your welding challenges. Surprisingly, there are quite a few people, especially beginner welders, that don't know there are accessories and options that fit their machines and can make a difficult weld job much easier. Even seasoned welders don't know the extent of some of the components available. We realize that a lot of welding situations can result in some problems or challenges that makes it difficult to effectively complete your welding task with the standard equipment or accessories that were included with your welder. We'd like to start with some simple solutions for common problems like hard to reach areas when MIG welding. Here we have a Millermatic 190 doing some body and light fabrication. To solve some of our reach problems, we've equipped this machine with a 15 foot M150 MIG gun. The new angled drive assembly in the small Millermatic family can now accommodate these longer guns. These new drive assemblies have bearings instead of bushings, which allows for the proper tension to be applied to the wire without causing additional drag by side-loading the bushings normally found in small MIG welders. On this machine, we chose a Bernard 200 amp BTB MIG gun. It's a heavy duty gun designed for demanding duty cycles that we see in this chassis building shop. Also, you can configure this gun with all types of options on the Bernard website. This one has a neck that you can rotate to any angle, which allows for easier access to the welding joint. We also like the tapered nozzle and the center fire tapered tips for 030 wire for getting into the many tight angle tube joints. One common issue many people don't even realize they have is that their contact tip loosens up from the many heat cycles, causing a poor electrical contact to the wire. With the center fire system, the contact tips are held in place with the nozzle. And if your nozzle is tight, the tips will be tight. When TIG welding, sooner or later you'll encounter the joint configuration or situation that your TIG torch will just not be able to weld properly. Sometimes it's simply because your torch head is too large. Or maybe you just want something that's more comfortable to weld with. In this scenario, we have a Synchrowave 210 with a standard A150 TIG torch. The A150 TIG torch has the WP17 size torch head and we'd like to change it to something smaller and lighter that uses smaller consumables. The WP9 torch head or the WP9F flex head will fit on the A150 cables. Just pull the handle back, take off the WP17 head with two 7 16 inch wrenches and install the WP9 head. The size and weight difference is substantial. What if you need to weld in a much tighter area, or you want the flexibility to have multiple torches of different styles hooked up to your machine at the same time? Well, instead of trying to attach multiple torches or changing torches when you need a custom torch, why not just change the torch head? This system is the water-cooled W225 modular TIG torch. It has an interchangeable head design where you can just change the head, not the entire torch. Accessory kit AK-225MFC has all the different head styles. You can even purchase individual heads if you like to set up the same head with multiple tungsten sizes or gas lenses. If you have an air-cooled unit like the Synchrowave 210, kit number AK-150MFC has everything you need to convert your standard torch to a quick change modular system with 28 different configurations. Same as before, just pull the handle back, attach the torch body, and choose between the standard quick change adapter or the flex adapter. Then just choose your head style and consumables based on your tungsten size. Let's take some time to talk about gas coverage and gas lenses. Gas lenses give a better gas coverage by creating a much more uniform gas flow out of the cup. This gas flow will give better shielding of the welding arc and allow you to pull the tungsten out further for better visibility. 
when welding tubing, stainless steel, chrome molly, or any material where additional gas coverage is desired, an extra large gas lens might be your answer. Here are the steps to adapt the WP9 size heads, which includes the A125 torches, W250, WP20 style, the W280 Supercool, and the W375 Supercool torches, as well as any competitive torch manufacturers that use the WP20 size consumables. First, you will need to take the consumable parts off your torch. Remove the small cup insulator. Install either the large gas lens for 1 16th tungsten or the gas lens for 332. The collets also need to be changed to fit the larger gas lenses. There's dedicated collets for 1 16th and 332. Finally, when you get to be my age, you might need a magnifying lens in your welding helmet because you can't weld what you can't see. The lenses are sized just like reading glasses, and it really increases the weld definition and the joint area. There are many accessories or components that Miller or other ITW welding companies make to help solve your welding challenges. If you need help with any of your welding needs, contact us at millerwelds.com.